Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dubs here. Welcome back to the not-so-Sunday commentary. That isn't actually on a Sunday, and that's why it's called this. Um, even though it's supposed to be, but I don't know. I decided to skip it for a reason, actually, on, on Sunday. Um, and I'll tell you guys a little bit later on why I did that. But let's get started with the Q&A, which we do every single time we do one of these uh, Sunday slash not-so-Sunday commentaries. Um, but anyway... Let's get on and start answering some questions. By the way, if you guys have any questions for the next Q&A, uh, for the next video, then make sure you leave them down in the comments below, and I will answer them if I haven't done so in this video. Um, but anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Tom Clee asks, are you ever going to make any videos with YouTubers like EK Drifter, Slap Train, Fail Race, etc.? Yes, I want to try, to try and start making some, some uh, collab videos with, uh, with other YouTubers, especially people that do sort of the same type of videos as I do. Uh, you know, for example, Forza, Need for Speed, uh, Grand Turismo, or whatever. I know I haven't done Need for Speed in a while, but I'm still including myself in that. But, um, you know, any sort of driving game videos. Um, yes, I definitely want to try and make some collab videos with other YouTubers. I'm really, really looking forward to trying and getting some, some people onto um, onto my channel. And I, I can try be on other people's channels and stuff like that. I just want to start knowing people in this community. I know I'm part of the, the gaming community, and I'm... To be more specific, I'm part, of, I'm part of the 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 racing gaming community, I guess you can say that. Racing games community on YouTube. Um, but I don't know anybody. Like, literally, I don't know anybody in this community. You know, n you know, know them enough to be able to basically, you know, say, I'm going to make a video with you, sure, whatever. You know, we I, I just don't know people like that. And I want to try to know everybody in this community. I know it's sort of a, a long shot to try and do that, but um, I don't know. I just feel like... Since we're all part of this whole, you know, racing, whatever, gaming community, I just want to know everybody. And I think that uh, that I, I really need to try and get my ass working on that and actually try to get some some videos done with with, uh, with a few of those guys because I really enjoy their content as well. Um, but I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what I can do. Um, it, it all depends on the time that I have and depends on, on, you know, the time that they have because we're also in different time zones. So that's going to be sort of interesting to try to get done. Um, anyway, let's get on to the next question, uh, which comes from Ava Sernapakas and also from, uh, let's see here, Tony the Gamer. Um, basically, they both asked the same question. What car do I drive in real life? I drive a Mark IV Golf from 2000. You guys can probably find a picture of it on my Facebook page or my Twitter page or whatever. Links to those are down in the description box below if you want to, to try and see what it looks like. But anyway, let's continue on with the next question. Cody Dillon asks, Hey Dubs, would you suggest Xbox One for Forza Horizon 2 or PS4 for GT7? Well, since GT7 or PS4 aren't out yet, I'd probably have to say Xbox One and Horizon 2. I love Horizon 2. I know people are, are, you know, even, actually, wait, 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 let's bring it a step back after I answer this dude's question. Um, so, I, well, yes, I would say Horizon 2 and, I, and the Xbox One. Now, because I made a comment in the last week's video saying that Drive Club looks like a very arcade style game, and I was comparing it to Need for Speed, right? So it looks very Need for Speed-ish. Um, and then people are now commenting on this video saying that, uh, what do you mean it looks like uh, it, it looks like an arcade game, but you play Forza and how's that not an arcade game? Um, to be completely honest, I play games that I like and that I enjoy. I've played Forza 4 and I really liked it over at my friend's house. Uh, I played Forza 3 and then I liked that game as well, except that of course I didn't have an Xbox and I didn't want to buy an Xbox 360 um, just because I didn't want to just buy it just so I can play Forza 4 because I knew I wasn't going to get any other game for it. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get an Xbox One because Forza 5 looks awesome. Uh, Forza Horizon 2 is coming out on that, the, the Master Chief Collection, the new Halo is coming out for it. I'm going to enjoy all those games on the Xbox. So now I have an actual reason to buy an Xbox One and get all these games. And then ever since I started playing Forza, I know that my channel has been sort of changed from being in Gran Turismo content to Forza. And also the breaking of the PlayStation 3 doesn't help now that I can't upload any Gran Turismo videos, which does suck major dick. I know it does, and I can't really do anything about it. But I love Forza. I think it's a great series, and especially Forza Horizon 2. It's an awesome, awesome game. If you think Forza Horizon 2 is shit, then you have some serious problems, because it's not. It's such a good game to play with friends, even to play by yourself. 
and just play through the game, you know, just in, in, in single player mode or whatever, or even just go around and play with random people online. It's so good. It's such a good game. And as I said, if you're a car dude and you don't like Forza Horizon 2, then that's, that's, that's just your problem, dude. Because it, as I said, it's a really, really good game and I can't stop playing it because it, it's, it's awesome. I, I even finished the Let's Play on my channel now. But it's still a very, very good game to play, and I still do, even even now. And I have a lot of videos planned on on Forza Horizon 2 because I enjoyed playing the game. And I, I always knew that this day would come where Gran Turismo would sort of step aside from my YouTube channel. And I know that it'll definitely come back once the Gran Turismo 7 comes out, whenever whenever that comes out on the PS4. It's probably like next year or something like that. I don't even know. But whenever that comes out, I'll definitely get started into making some Gran Turismo 7 videos. But until then, I can't really do anything about it. I'm not going to be able to fix my PS3 either. I tried to do it. That's why I skipped the Sunday commentary. Um, because I was messing around with my PS3. And then I was trying to get a fix on Monday as well. And um, basically, I couldn't do anything with it to actually get it to work again. So, uh, basically, the PlayStation 3 is broken. Um, I don't want to send it out to get some dude to fix it for like 100 euro. Because I'm not going to spend 100 euro on a broken PlayStation. Just so I can play one game. You know, I, I don't want to spend 100 quid on a PlayStation, as I said, to play just Gran Turismo. And then, usually when I play Gran Turismo, I only make like one video a week. Um, you know, which is just a Project Drifting videos. I don't know if people enjoy that, and I don't mind making those videos. But it's gotten to the point where it's just so repetitive that I just want to get past it and just, you know, sort of leave it behind. And some people on my YouTube channel now are probably going to hate on this video as well, just because they said that I'm not going to be playing Gran Turismo 6 anymore. But, you know... Change was bound to happen at one stage or another on, on the YouTube channel. And I know that I'm not going to be changing for good from, like, Gran Turismo to Forza, obviously. But as soon as this, as Gran Turismo 7 comes out, I'll be getting that game. I'll be making a ton of videos on that as well. So it's just a mandatory change that I have to do right now because the PS3 is broken. If, obviously, it didn't break, I'd still continue to make the Gran Turismo Project Drifting videos. But um, for those people that asked in the comments, because I've seen people that asked in, in the comments section on the last video... Um, what's gonna happen with the Project Drifting series. Um, for Gran Turismo, it's actually gonna stop until the next uh, GT7 comes out. Um, but uh, it will continue with Forza 5, and if you guys wanna watch that, then that's up to you. If you don't wanna watch it, that's up to you again. I can't really make people watch my videos all the time, so that's all, you know, up to you guys um, to, uh, to decide what videos you watch, and I don't really mind, you know, to be completely honest. If you guys want to watch the videos, then, you know, watch them. If you don't, you don't. There's nothing really I can do for it. Uh, but uh, a little bit of change wouldn't really hurt anybody. Let's get on with the last question, uh, which comes from Soren L. And why and when did you start your YouTube channel? I started my YouTube channel back in 2008. I think it was March 2008 as well. I'm pretty sure it was March. It was sometime at the end of March. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Let me try to see if I can remember the actual date. I think it was the 8th of... March 2008 was when I first started my very very first YouTube channel. I remember even the, the old channel layout, and it was. I, never mind. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna even talk about that. But um, I basically started my very very first YouTube channel just because I wanted to favorite videos, like videos, watch videos, and like comment on on them. Because obviously you weren't able to comment on or like the videos or even favorite them to be. Um, you know, to be in your like favorites list or whatever just because you didn't have an account. So I had to make an account and have a YouTube channel so I can do all that stuff. And later on in that year, I uploaded my very, very first video, which was a Need for Speed Most Wanted video um, of me driving around in a 911 Carrera 4, I think it was, that was in that game, or Carrera 4S, I, I don't even know. Um, but I made a video on it and I put some, uh, I, I even remember the song that I put in the background, it was... ATB 9 p.m. And then I was just driving around with that in, in, in Need for Speed Most Wanted. And I recorded the screen with my phone, as most people would start off to, to make YouTube videos. Uh, well, most people did start off to make YouTube videos back in the day. Um, that's how it used to be. And uh, that wasn't obviously a very, very popular video. But And later on in the year, I got a PS3. And then I started watching some videos on, on ge you know gameplay videos. I just randomly stumbled across a YouTube channel called Top Notch Multimedia. And I just absolutely love that channel because people would, uh, would upload clips to, to Top Notch um, and then they'd obviously put up the clips and they'll have a countdown. And that was the very, very first channel that I ever started watching and that had gameplay videos on it. I remember that perfectly as well. Uh, I just randomly, randomly stumbled across it and then um, Operator Perry was talking about 
you know all the gameplays and stuff like that and he was basically commentating over the over the um, you know the countdown of, of all the clips and uh, you know that's the reason why I, start, why I wanted to start making gaming videos is because I wanted to show everybody how awesome I was at Call of Duty 4 and I was a really really good uh, player in COD 4 I remember I, I think I would have really held my own in, in competitive as well if I actually had a team to play with uh, but pretty much every single person I knew loved COD 4 any, any one of my friends that had a PlayStation 3 or an Xbox and had Call of Duty 4 and anybody at school Anybody that that just basically got the got Call of Duty 4, they absolutely loved it. I remember playing it, uh, and then when I was at school or something like that, and then my dad was at home, he'd play it. He'd just come into my room and start playing COD 4. Um, I remember he got to like 10 prestige level 55, like he maxed out the the game. He started getting like all the golden guns and stuff like that, and even I did. Like I went off and I got every single golden gun, and I I prestiged all the way, and I got every challenge completed. So everything was all. Uh, fine, and I absolutely love that game. Um, so that's why I started a YouTube channel, is just, be just because I wanted to show off how awesome I was at Call of Duty 4, which was sort of weird. Uh, and also, last bit of news that I want to tell you guys is I will bring back all the sort of videos that I wanted to upload on my second channel, so that's why you guys are watching Destiny in the background. Um, I'll bring back Minecraft, I'll bring back pretty much every single sort of video onto this channel again. Second channel didn't work out as planned, I just don't have a lot of videos to upload on the second channel, so it it'll basically end up uh, being a period of me not uploading anything on it, so I just don't think it, it just feels like I'm neg neglecting the channel So that's why I don't want to sort of you know stick to that channel It'll still be there. I'll probably make some vlogs or whatever or any sort of short little videos or skits that I want to upload to that channel Maybe that'll uh, be the purpose for that, but I'm not gonna delete it. I'll leave it there um, And then when I want to upload something on it, I'll upload something on it But uh, I'll bring back all of the rest of the videos back onto this channel again uh, So yeah, thank you guys for watching Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.